Welcome to section number five, power of creating a real brand, selling merch, getting brand deals, digital products, and so much more. So the thing is, you guys have to realize nobody cares about your channel, right? Nobody cares. You have to show that you care more than other channels on YouTube and be creative. And so one of the most common monetization methods used on YouTube other than ad revenue is selling merchandise. Now, typically, um, merch is best for personal brand channels or, you know, vlog channels. And again, you have to remember, people don't care about your channel enough to buy merchandise for it unless there's a, you know, a really strong connection between a real person, you know, that's running a personal brand and the viewers. So for example, if you're running a cash cow channel and your channel's name is Bob Scary Stories, I promise you nobody would want to wear a shirt that says that. And so the only way to sell merch as a cash cow channel where there's no strong connection between the creator and the audience is to add value and sell humorous merch, right? So literally just search up, if you're in the Scary Stories niche, search up funny Halloween shirts, right? Let's try it right it's like the worst joke ever but i mean people people still buy it right like oh i've got your back and it's like it's taken uh, it's back from the uh, skeleton worst joke ever it's not even really that funny but people buy these like crazy right there we go it's a better view so what you could do find a shirt like this go to fiverr type in t-shirt design and there is literally people 10 bucks Take a screenshot of this, send it to them, say, hey, remake this, and they'll, they'll do it for $10. And the reason they're, they're remaking it is because you can't just steal somebody's design. You know, you, you got to uh, make it into your own to avoid copyright issues. But somebody can do that for you for 10 bucks. And what sells even better than these, you know, generic shirts like this that you could probably find anywhere is political shirts. And it doesn't even matter who you support. It doesn't matter what your political views are. These sell like crazy. I remember back in like October, November 2020 when the elections were, <laughs> it, was, it was really crazy. All right, right. I was selling anti-Biden shirts. I was selling anti-Trump shirts. I didn't even really care, you know, who people liked or, or anything like that. All I cared about is that there was a bunch of money to be made there. So, you know, it doesn't matter, right? Like this happy Christmas shirt with, with Biden's face on it. Um... We sold a lot of those, right? And again, like I, I don't even really care about politics at all. Um, I was just there to make money from it. And you can do this in any niche, right? Like business niche, um, money is calling. Like it's super, super basic, right? You could probably find these shirts at Walmart, but people buy them all day long when you set it up the right way on your channel, right? If you're in the, uh, have a crypto channel, just a guy mining my own business with like a Bitcoin there tech niche you know you, you get the idea super basic shirts but they sell really well and so in order to actually integrate merch into your channel you're gonna have to use a platform called teespring now currently this is only available to people who are in the YouTube partner program right meaning your channel is monetized and people who have more than 10,000 subscribers right and so so once you do reach 10,000 subscribers I linked a little tutorial here showing you exactly how to set this up. All right, so, so simple to do. And again, Teespring, they do all the fulfillment. All you do is you, you know, you find a design on Google, you get someone on Fiverr to remake the design, you take that design, you know, put it on Teespring, connect it to your channel, and boom. Now, now you have a, a booming t-shirt business alongside of your booming YouTube channel. Right, and so the, the reason that we're connecting it through Teespring is because it's gonna show directly under all of your videos, right? So you're getting all that traffic and now you're advertising these, these shirts that people will buy like crazy. And again, remember, you should only be focusing on implementing these extra things like merchandise and all the other things we're gonna be talking about once you have a large enough subscriber base with consistent views coming in, right? And only set up merch via Teespring so that it displays under your videos and never promote it in your videos, right? It'll get enough attention under the videos and like I mentioned before, a huge mistake so many people make is trying to milk their audience for money without even having a large audience. And so if you're constantly trying to promote these 
t-shirts in your videos, people don't like that, right? It's enough just having it under the video. If they wanna buy it, they'll see it there. There's no need to put it in the video. And so selling digital products. What I mean by that is let's say you have your own coaching program or you have your own course to sell. Now I would only recommend this if you already have your own digital product, right? Creating your own course or whatever takes way too much time, way too much effort. Don't even try that, right? Um, you're, you're much better off doing affiliate marketing. So if, if you already have your digital product, you can sell that. If you don't, don't even worry about it, right? And again, right, a mistake people make is trying to milk their audience for money. And so I wouldn't even, you know, let's say you have your own course to sell, I wouldn't even sell that until you have at least 100,000 subscribers because you don't want to make the mistake of, of, you know, making people leave your channel. So next up is affiliate marketing. If you don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's where you're promoting someone else's product and you get a commission on every sale you make. It's a very, very popular business model. A lot of people try it. They, they try to make money online just using affiliate marketing. But really, um, affiliate marketing is not the best way to make money online. And the only reason I'm mentioning it is because if you're in the right niche, it doesn't take long to set up and it can bring in a little bit of additional revenue, right? Again, it shouldn't be your main focus. If you've, you know, been following an, a, an affiliate marketing guru and you, you know, you've, you're in his course or whatever, right? Don't, don't bring that into this. Again, these are things that you should focus on after you're already making at least $500 per day from just ad revenue alone. And so how do you choose a product to promote? There's gonna be a list of products below and I would choose products that are sold through a webinar or cheap products from you know $7 to maybe $27 that have a bunch of upsells where the average order value is at least $50. So don't promote Amazon links. Um, you're not gonna make that much money. Because again, guys, remember, YouTube doesn't like it when you're trying to send people off of YouTube. So if you're trying to promote products and do all this stuff, I wouldn't recommend it until you're making at least $500 per day. And so the best way to make money with affiliate marketing through, through YouTube is to use a website like Bitly or Rebrandly uh, to shorten your links because you don't want to be pasting a huge long affiliate link. It's just going to clutter up the description. Uh, you can also use a site like ClickFunnels to create bridge pages to collect emails before selling the products, which you can actually use to contact them about the offers and you can even sell your email list. And softwares like ClickFunnels can be pretty expensive if you're just getting started. I think it starts at $97 a month is the cheapest. Um, what I pay is $2.97 a month. So, you know, it's definitely not something you want to get when you're first starting out. But uh, as you kind of, you know, move up, it might be something worth looking into. A really high converting offer that you can promote is, of course, the course that you're in right now, right? Tube Money Masterclass. So if you want to promote my course, so if you're going to even promote affiliate product at all, um, you know, I would really recommend you promoting this course. First of all, it's a high converting offer. Um, you know, our webinar converts pretty well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in here right now. Also, you get 41% commission off of every sale that you get. And I'm going to continue to pour massive amounts of money into advertising for this course um, and, and continue to grow this whole course business that I'm running. So if you want to sign up to be an affiliate for my course, um, there's actually a link at the very bottom of the page that you're on right now on, on the members area, or you can sign up right here in the PDF. If you don't want to promote the course, I don't know why you wouldn't, but you know, there's a list of, uh, you know, other affiliate programs here as well. So live streaming, live streaming is a great way to increase revenue, watch time and grow your entire channel. So what I mean is doing 24 seven live streams. Basically it's a live stream of all your videos playing on loop, right? <laughs> Basically never ending for people to enjoy. And this guy right here, King Frostmere, he's been running this live stream for, for like two years and I guarantee he's made, you know, he's made a ton of money off of it. So in order to run 24 hour live streams without leaving your computer on all the time, you're going to need to rent a virtual private server. So a VPS can be rented for about 60 bucks a month. So again, it, none of this stuff is worth doing until you're already making money. But once you are making money, right around $500 a day, 60 bucks is nothing. So, um, 
it's well worth it though, right? One of my channels that I was running a, a never ending live stream on, we made an extra 5K just from the first seven days of the stream from what's called super chats and memberships. And basically what that is, it's where people can donate to your channel and become a member to you know get perks, right? Like they can see uploads early, they can get access to unreleased videos, stuff like that. And it did 5K in the first seven days, but not only that, we made an additional 3,000 from ad revenue. And again, this was only in the first seven days. So over $8,000 in seven days. And the best part is, it was just a live stream that I set up for 60 bucks. And all it was is my past videos playing on loop. And so if you want a detailed tutorial of how to set up a never ending live stream, here is a great video to learn how to do that, right? And there's several different options. Um, the one we were using is Obubble. And uh, again, a uh, great way to make some additional revenue. Uh, another way, which I just talked about, super chats and memberships. So one of the reasons that live streams work so well is the experience of being able to interact with other people who are watching the stream at the same time in the chat. Right, you can turn on subscriber only mode, which basically people have to subscribe to your channel to chat. And then of course, super chats and super stickers, people can donate to your channel, their message can be pinned at the top. You know, if they donate a dollar, um, a, do a dollar doesn't actually appear, but anything above five dollars, right, it'll be pinned for two minutes. And it goes all the way up if they donate a hundred, uh, their message will be um, pinned for an hour. And then memberships, this is where people can, like I said, they can join your channel for exclusive members only perks. They can get things just for the live stream, like badges, emojis, other things specific to the live stream. And then you can also set up other things to incentivize them access to watch uploads before they're actually released, things like that. Um, and so this guy, King Frostmare, he has different levels. So let's check it out, right? So if we look on his for $2.99 a month, People get all these little, um, you know, badges that they can have next to their name and they can use these in the chat for $10. They can be highlighted in one of his weekly episodes, 25 bucks. They can, um, they can be featured on the live stream for, uh, $45. They can actually choose to, you know, make a new emoji for the, the, you know, frosty channel. So that's what I was saying in the beginning is when you, when you set things up the right way and you really make your channel a brand and something that stands out from everyone else, the potential to further monetize your viewers and turn them into true fans is very real, right? And so you can even use this, um, this site called Streamlabs. You can actually have people who become members and, and stuff like that show up on the, uh, on the actual video, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this stuff, feel free to let me know in the private group and I'll see you guys on the next video.